Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, netizens, brothers and sisters, bro, sisters and sisters, bros. Welcome to Coffee with Dragon. The topic today is artists, the artistic world, and artistic creativity. question is, my question to you all, brothers and sisters, sisters, bros and bros, sisters, is this is, do you have any artistic creativity, do you like art, what kind of art, music, sculpture, do you like paintings, do you like poetry, hope you do like poetry, me love it. Today I was just at my first ever artists conference here in the world city of Montreal, North America, where we currently reside. It was a good event, a good experience for me personally. I've met different artists, have met different people who are involved in the struggle to make a living out of the art. And as the saying goes, the starving artist, myself am not starving, thank goodness. But it's a struggle, of course, for artists to make a living and, of course, to pierce the, the market, whatever their niche market is, since the universe of art contains different disciplines myself being multidisciplinary meaning I'm a poet the world's greatest living poet I'm a writer screenwriter short story songwriter impersonations do some radio and stuff like that and a whole other array of creative artistic creative potential and so on so this was a first it was organized by a um, an organization here in the city of Montreal called yes located at 666 Sherbrooke West in Montreal that helps artists however they have a certain age for certain programs so it's um, believe 18 to 35 myself being 33 of course I'm eligible and different criteria for eligibility and different conditions but in the general they do help people and mentor and they have mentorship programs and they organize seminars and such and for them have been a, they were the organizers of this um, event Tell me about your artistic likes, dislikes, potential experiences. Do you write? Do you paint? Do you sculpt? Just plain read or enjoy art? Let me know, of course, in the comments. So, yes, it stands for Youth Entrepreneurship Services. And they offer different integrated services for business, for creative, artistic individuals, and such, and such, and such. And have, of course, attended seminars and lectures and events, but this is the first conference as they have it. It's been a few years that they have it on an annual basis. Myself at the moment, I'm looking for opportunity to grow and to make a living out of my art, my poetry, songwriting and in the coming days, weeks, months ahead we'll be pursuing to have my creative gifts to the world and share it with the world and 
one topic wanted to discuss specifically relating to the art world and artists. First, I have a question. Personally, do kind of know the answer to the question, but it's also based on feeling and more the intuitive side, but without having to have some statistics, which we'll not go into, but the main premise or question is if the and my this is my speculation is that the artists and people who do make it in the arts who became very who become very successful financially whether in the actors in theater whether in uh, songwriting whether rappers poppers rockers that the artists are more generous to give back to society I have speculation to the causes and what have you and one of the main is that the artist does not necessarily push and go into the artist world necessarily because of money or finances is the primary motive why, why he would be why he would choose a career but mostly because he's creative he has creative impulses and wants to develop that and talent of course and what have you and wants to so my speculation and believe that intuitively it's a true one that the artists who do become very successful financially whether singers songwriters or movie stars even do give back to society even more than than um, than the other success financially successful individuals who go into finance go into banking stockbrokers and other high paying of course careers even medicine let's say or perhaps not medicine it's not a good comparison of course but other of course high paying high rewarding high financially rewarding jobs and positions in the world of commerce and industry of course so that is my intuitive speculation can maybe we can find some statistics if anybody listens here's maybe we can dialogue collaborate and you can maybe find me some statistics and some facts to back my proposition and of course which do believe that it is backed by statistical science and facts as well why how come maybe because the artist struggled more maybe because the majority of the artists come from a background which is more middle or lower class and have not been born with the proverbial silver spoon and had to struggle and they lived to struggle and they lived with difficulty of a financial or otherwise in a more difficult financial situation than the others who had other careers so one of the motives one is because of his inclination and because he has more idealism and wants to share more and this if he's rewarded becomes a great singer a great uh, actor wants to give back because of idealism because of morality maybe because of ethics what do you think myself personally do think that it's a factor of each of those because of his ethical inclinations morality progressive more progressive views although not necessarily but in, in, the, in the majority majority so more conscientious of less individualistic perhaps that be a correlation there don't have all the answers partly statistical science partly because of intuitive uh, feeling and knowledge and what have you I'm inclined to say and to state these however they're not absolutes of course we have variables 
and we have different variations within variations and within the majority we have a minority and within the minority we have a majority and so on and so forth that each specific individual case of course lest our ignorance and folly be known one thing was a good overall experience the only criticism that I have uh, for yes in this regard not that they don't offer um, programs for those who are not financially well off or who are on social assistance uh, they exclude um, for them to pay a fee to open um, a dossier however for this conference there was no such thing and each and every individual regardless of financial situation had to pay $35 and I've been thinking that somebody who's like myself in a financially tight precarious situation even though he's a great talent that's great he wants to attend but on a month that 35 bucks is really a big expense and the only criticism of course is this for the event is that perhaps they should have get yeah, those who are social assistants or financially less wealthy to just pay perhaps half of the 35 say 17 or even 25 or a bit less as a gesture of solidarity as a, as a gesture of solidarity. That would have been, of course, my wish and desire. However, in myself, a, living in a financially precarious situation, this you could have not financed or donated any monetary or financial um, capital to uh, for such an endeavor. But uh, nonetheless, it would have been something that we would have liked of course to, to see as a small gesture for solidarity across um, the financial divide gap that is and has been growing tremendously Canada United States of America Western world of the world since 1984 And so I'm a bit disappointed and offer my criticism on those matters as myself not being without fault, of course, but when it comes to solidarity across classes with my fellow 